Hello, Scorpio. How are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal reading, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. The energy of the person that is coming towards you next, their feelings towards you. We have the world card. Their intentions towards you, the two of pentacles. Their next actions and behaviors towards you, we have the four of pentacles. And the potential outcome, we have the hangman. At the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of cups. Kind of seems to me, Scorpio, that somebody is missing you here. And we got the seven of cups, the two of swords, king of cups. So somebody definitely has a lot of strong feelings for you with this king of cups energy. But they're very indecisive right now. Things could be very stuck or stagnant between the two of you, especially with this two of swords and the hangman, both very kind of stagnant energies. The two of swords and the two of pentacles, there's definitely a decision that this person is trying to make. I feel like somebody is missing you though here. Somebody's kind of in their feelings about you right now. Signs I'm seeing for you guys so far. We have Cancer, we have all the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. We have Capricorn here twice. We also have Pisces, Scorpio, and Libra. So those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any, okay? It is a general reading. I feel like somebody is wondering if you guys are able to put something in the past. Like if you guys are able to start over. I don't think that they're sure. You know, some of you guys may have been through a lot with this person, Scorpio. And, you know, I feel like they know that here. Especially with this world card. It's like, is this really over for good? You know, should we just kind of leave it be where it is? I feel like this is somebody that you guys have been out of communication with for quite some time. And it just feels like, you know, maybe it's best if we just leave this alone. But at the same time, it's like... They're missing you and a part of them is like maybe we can maybe we could put it all behind us maybe it would work if we could put it all behind us but honestly i just feel like they don't know you got the seven of cups confusion illusion overwhelm looking at all the different uh, choices and they're trying to figure out what's best here i feel like they've been in this place for a little bit they've probably been thinking about this for a while this hangman and two of swords it is kind of a stagnant energy she's sitting on a concrete bench it's meant to look like she's been sitting there for quite some time the thing is is that the two of swords is she's blindfolded so she can't see clearly but her hands are not bound she could just set the swords down and take the blindfold off and then she could see just fine so sometimes with the two of swords it it makes me feel like deep down you already know the answer you know, I feel like deep down this person already does know what's best, but sometimes what we want and what's best for us are not the same thing. And that's why our head and heart can often be on different pages. Like our mind knows what's best, but the heart wants what the heart wants. And I kind of feel that here. I feel like you've been through a lot with this person, Scorpio, and there's a part of them that just feels like, you know, it's probably best to just leave this alone. It's probably best to just stay in this period of no communication. It's probably best to allow it to just be over. Um, but the heart wants what the heart wants. You know, that's why they don't want to look at what's best because, you know, they miss you. They love you. We got king and queen here of cups. They could feel like you're their divine counterpart. They have a lot of love for you and they miss you. They miss that connection, even though there's a part of them that knows that it isn't best. So here we are with this world card, them having that knowledge that, you know, maybe it's just best to leave it alone. I don't think we can get past everything. I don't think we'll be able to put that, you know, fully close out that cycle. For some of you guys with that world card, it has been a cycle. Maybe this is not the first time that you guys have come together and come apart or tried to make things work. And they could be acknowledging that it's not, you know, it's a cycle and that maybe that's not what's best. Not just best for them, but not what's best for you as well. But this two of pentacles, because the heart wants what it wants. You know, they're kind of going back and forth between their head, between their heart. Their actions, the four of pentacles. You know, not a huge action card right now. But 
trying to get their head and heart on the same page. You can see he's got one pentacle over his head and one over his heart, and they're in perfect alignment. I feel like this person is trying to get their head and heart on the same page, but they're struggling. You know, they're trying to let go, but they're not able to yet. They're still holding on to this. They're still holding on to you. That they have this hangman energy here for the potential outcome. So, you know, things could still be stagnant for a period. I would say this, this is the next love coming towards you. So at some point, obviously they do move back towards you here, Scorpio. Um, you know, we can see this some, we can see this King of Wands later on. So it does kind of look like they do take a chance um, and take some action towards you, but it just may not be right this second. Um, but with this hangman energy, they could be getting a change in perspective as well. They could start be starting to see certain things in a new way. We're going to clarify Tell me about this world energy. Why is this world card here for Scorpio, please? Why is this world card here for Scorpio? You got the seven of cups. So, yeah, you know, confusion, illusion. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to what choice to make here. I feel like they do know, you know, I feel like deep down they know what's best for them, but it's not what they want. Tell me about this two of pentacles. I feel like you're in a very similar energy with this person, Scorpio. I feel like there's a part of you that still misses this person and loves this person and, you know, kind of wants this. But there's also this part of you that recognizes that there's something about this connection that maybe it's been an unhealthy cycle. There's something about it that just isn't quite good for you. Tell me about this two of pentacles. We have that world card. Yeah, that's just a huge confirmation for your reading. You know, should I just let this cycle close out? Should I just let this cycle close out, even though that's not what, what I want? Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. They're holding on because they still love you. And this is your energy, Scorpios, King of Cups. So it's just them still holding on to you as well. Tell me about this Hangman. Tell me about this Hangman energy. Why is the Hangman here? We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth it? Should I or should I not? You know, Scorpio, I kind of feel like this person, you know, you're their kryptonite. You're their weak spot. Because there's a part of them that just knows that this is, it's best to just leave it alone. Leave you alone. But they can't. And you may be feeling the same way about them. You know, maybe they're yours as well. I got this two sevens here, seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. When I get multiple sevens out, usually it talks about there being a lot going on internally, right? A lot going on in their mind, a lot going on in their heart that maybe they're not expressing to other people. So especially with this hate man. So if you feel like because you guys are not communicating that this person isn't thinking about you or feeling anything about you, that's just not true. We got the temperance card here. So, you know, I feel like this person could also be having some realizations about where maybe they've sabotaged things in the past, especially with these multiple sevens and this temperance. And on this temperance card, there's this like big open eye here. It's like their their eyes are finally opening up to some things. That's probably what brings them back towards you here because obviously this is the next love coming towards you. So you should kind of prepare yourself for that, Scorpio. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know whether it's about this reading or scheduling personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.